Hi friends, in today's session, I'm going to talk on how to customize your home tab in Salesforce Classic View. For Salesforce Lightning, I'm going to prepare a separate video. So in today's session, we'll see what are the standard component available in Classic to customize your home tab. What are the custom component we can create? We may not create a custom component, but we'll see what are the options are there. So when you log into Salesforce, you will land on your home tab. This is how your home tab may look like. So on top right, you can see your name. If you click on that down arrow, then you, you can see your profile. You can make changes in your settings. For example, if I want to change my local setting, I can do that from this option. If you have permission to make any configuration changes, then probably you will see this link set up. And this is help, which is a standard Salesforce functionality. And last option will be to switch your application. These are the tab you can see. So based on the application, this tab may be different. And if you want to view all the tabs, then you just need to click on this plus sign to view all the tabs. Now on this right hand side, you can see calendar details. So here I can see my upcoming appointments. If anything scheduled, if I want to schedule any appointment, then I can click on this calendar and I can set up my meetings. Here I can see my task. And in last section, if I'm the manager, and if my team member has submitted anything for my approval, then I will see those record in item to approve. On the left hand side, I can see option to create new records quickly. I can see recently view item and recycle bin. Guys, if you have a permission to view recycle bin, then only you will see this icon. Else you will not see this icon in classic view as well. So we'll go to setup to customize our home tab. So in setup, we'll type home in quick find. So here you will get option under customize home, home page components. Click on that. Now here you will see what are the standard components are available. So you can create new records. That component is available. You can view your recent items. So that is again a standard component. You can see your messages alerts. Those are notes basically. You can see custom links. You can see dashboard snapshots. You can see item to approve. You can see your calendar. You can see task due overdue or due in next seven days. Here you can see custom component as well. So here I have created one custom component, which is a link. But we'll see what are other options available. So if I click on new, you can see you can create a link, you can add logo images, you can create a HTML, you can create a visual force page area. So these are the custom component you can create and add in your home tab. So as of now, we'll not create any custom component. We'll go back to the setup again, and then we'll go to home page layout. So this is what is my default home page layout. Now let me try to edit this. So here you can see name of the layout. What are the option or component we have already added? So you can see th these are already checked. Now if you want to add more components, so let's try to add dashboard snapshot. We'll add some custom links. Sorry, we'll add bank, which I have already created a custom component. We'll add that and we'll click on next. So here you can see what you want to show on the right hand side of your page layout, what you want to show on the left hand side of your page layout. We'll not make any changes. We'll click on save. Now we'll go back to the home tab. So there you can see we added that custom component which we have created bank custom link and here you can see 
another component is added dashboard so for this training session purpose i have already created a dashboard in my org you can see top five opportunities by amount you can see lead by lead source and you can see opportunity by stages so this dashboard i have already created for training purpose on how to create reports and dashboard i'm going to prepare a separate video if you want to customize if you want to customize this component you can click on customize page and if you want to view data from some other dashboard on the home tab then you can search for that dashboard and then you can click on save as of now there is only one dashboard is available that's the reason i'm not getting option to search for the component but you can always make those changes from your setting so you can see when you click on customize play page you land on my settings so here i can change my setting we'll go back to the home tab now here you can see bank is a custom you are a custom link section where i've already added one link hdfc bank if you click on this system will open that hdfc bank page now i'll tell you how to create this custom links for that again you need to go to setup you need to search for home tab there you need to go to custom links so here you can see hdfc bank is already added we'll try to create another link we'll give some name icic we'll keep source as a url and we'll try to i never seen icic bank.com okay so we'll copy this and save then we'll go to our home page component again now what i'll did i'll edit this component custom component which i have already created bank and i will add icica link as well in the bank section I'll click on save. And now I'll go back to home tab again. So here you can see that now there are two custom links are coming HDFC bank and ICICI. So if we click on ICICI, ICICI bank page layout, ICICI bank link will get open. So this is again a useful feature in Salesforce. If you want to show some custom link on your home page, to your end user you can create that component and you can show that that particular link in custom link section if you want to create appointments from calendar itself so here you can see your single user view if you want to see multiple user view if you have a permission if you want to view activity list then you can click on this icon if you want to view only day day view then you just need to click on one if you want weekly view then click on seven if you want monthly view then click on 31st so we'll try to create appointment from home tab itself so i have click on 27th of september sorry 27th of december and let me put some Let me select some time. 11 a.m. Sorry. Follow. Follow up against this. Antenna home products opportunity. Location would be office. And I have saved this. So if I go back to home tab, you will see this is appearing in my calendar view. Since I have already selected 31st, which is monthly view I am looking at. So that's the reason this 27th appointment is reflecting in my calendar view. So that's it.
from my side 